When you go to an emergency room, the doctor sometimes is able to instantly see what happened to your body. Say you walk in with an open wound. In this scenario, the problem is immediately obvious. You might need to have some wound cleaned up and possibly even have some stitches. However, when you break a bone, unless it's sticking out of your leg or arm in some kind of weird scene <laughs> taken from a horror movie, your doctor won't be able to tell what exactly happened to your body just by looking at you. That's when medical imaging comes in. By using different medical imaging techniques, doctors are able to take a look inside your body. And not in a creepy way, like they do it in the Magic School Bus cartoon show. No. They are actually able to travel inside the human body, exploring different bones, muscles, blood vessels and organs without having to perform surgery. Most people will be introduced to medical imaging when a doctor asks them to have a scan to investigate the source of a symptom, injury or pain. But what kinds of medical imaging techniques are there? And what images are used for what conditions? To get these answers and more, stick around as we learn more about the magical world of medical imaging. When we say medical imaging, we're referring to techniques and processes used by many different types of healthcare professionals to create images of various parts of the body for diagnostic and treatment purposes. Not to be confused with radiology. Radiology is an extensive and broad medical specialty that uses medical imaging to diagnose and treat patients. Medical imaging techniques are used by healthcare professionals for many reasons. These techniques may be used to help doctors find their way when introducing catheters or needles in your body. If medical imaging did not exist, they might end up poking something they shouldn't. Medical imaging tests like CT scans, x-rays and ultrasounds are done to screen for health conditions before symptoms appear diagnose a potential cause for existing symptoms, or even monitor an ongoing condition. Medical imaging test results are crucial in helping healthcare professionals decide the best treatment options for each patient. Okay, now that we know what medical imaging is and why it's so important, let's explore some of the most popular types of medical imaging modalities and find out why we need them. First on our list, X-rays. X-rays are a type of electromagnetic radiation just like the visible light you see all around you. The test works by firing x-rays at a part of your body and using a film called x-ray detector to capture the x-rays that pass through your tissues. The denser areas absorb more of the x-rays and appear lighter, white or light gray on the image. X-ray tests are widely available and commonly used as a diagnostic technique, particularly for orthopedic issues. So every time you have a problem with your bones or joints, you will probably have to have some X-rays shot through you. But don't worry, when done in a clinical setting, it's all safe. You won't grow an extra limb or acquire a superpower, even though it would be cool. Next on our list, we have CT scans. A CT scan or CAT scan is short for computerized axial tomography scan. And it combines a series of x-rays taken from different angles. The patient is asked to lie on a narrow table that slides into the CT scanner, which looks a little like a giant donut. The scanner contains rotating x-ray machines that produce a cross-sectional image, which results in a 360-degree view of the body. CT scans produce much more detailed images than regular x-rays and can actually take an image of internal organs. In some circumstances, the patient is also given a contrast dye, which helps outline softer tissue. 
CT scans are typically used for complex bone and joint problems, like complicated or unusual fractures. Radiologists can also use them to detect tumors and monitor progression of conditions like heart disease, emphysema, or liver growths. We're moving on to magnetic resonance imaging, also known as MRI. Like CT scanners, MRI scanners produce cross-sectional images of your body. They provide, however, a superior quality when it comes to image detail. Another great advantage of MRI scanners is that, unlike CT scanners, they don't rely on radiation, making them safe to use on pregnant women and babies. MRI scanners use a combination of powerful magnets and radio frequency waves to generate an image of the body. They're especially useful for examining the brain and spinal cord, as well as torn ligaments and tumors. Another thing about MRI scans is that they are incredibly noisy. Like standing next to an airplane during takeoff type of noise. For that reason, patients are given earplugs. There are also other safety concerns with MRI scans. Because they use powerful magnets, patients have to let the radiologist know if they have pacemakers or metal in their bodies. So they can avoid things like this from happening. The next medical imaging modality I want to talk about is PET. No, it does not involve using a cat or dog to diagnose something. PET stands for Positron Emission Tomography. And even though it's not as popular as the other medical imaging modalities, it is still a very important one. PET scan is often used in the diagnosis and monitoring of cancer and neurologic diseases like Alzheimer's. It uses a radioactive substance, usually an analog of the molecule glucose called tracer, and a scanner to examine how your tissues or organs are functioning. Typically, the tracer is injected into the patient's vein so it can travel around in the blood. It usually takes around one hour for the tracer to be absorbed by your body, and then the scan can begin. During the actual scan, you lie on a narrow table that is inserted into a tunnel-shaped scanner. The scanner detects radioactive signals emitted by the tracer and converts these signals into a 3D image. The tracer will be absorbed by different parts of the body in varying amounts, and that will allow doctors to see which areas show abnormal metabolic activity, which is usually the case for cancer cells. So PET scans allow healthcare professionals to find the location of a tumor or spot other areas where the cancer may have spread to. And what's great about PET scans is that they are safe for the majority of patients. The only exceptions are pregnant women or women who are breastfeeding due to the possible risks of the radioactive tracer in the development of the baby. We couldn't talk about medical imaging without mentioning ultrasound. People usually associate ultrasound to pregnancy follow-ups, but due to their non-invasive and non-radioactive nature, they have become very useful in a wide range of diagnostic procedures. Ultrasound probes use high-frequency sound waves, well above the threshold for human hearing, that echo off structures in the body. These reflected waves are then captured by a computer, creating an image. Ultrasounds can indeed be used for a range of imaging needs. For example, in orthopedics, to investigate rotator cuff injuries. Doctors also commonly use ultrasounds to image the eyes, muscles, abdominal organs, or heart. Ultrasounds do have their limitations, though. Since they do not detect tissue density, structures that readily reflect echoes but have very different densities, such as bone and air, may both appear white on the ultrasound. Last but definitely not least, let's talk about mammograms. 
Since its introduction in routine checkups for women over 40 to 50, depending on the country, the mammogram has been proved to be incredibly beneficial in early screening and detection of breast cancer. A mammogram is an x-ray image of the breast tissue and is commonly done to detect signs of breast cancer or other breast tumors. The breast is placed on a flat x-ray plate and then compressed with a device to flatten the breast tissue. Several x-ray photos are then taken. There are two types of mammograms, film and digital. Film mammograms are the traditional method and work a similar way that a traditional x-ray on your bone would. Digital mammograms allow the image to be manipulated on a computer screen and are generally considered more accurate. A lot of screening centers now use digital mammograms. And that's it for the list of the major types of medical imaging. Click on these videos that I'm popping up on the screen to learn more about CT scans and x-rays. Like the video so you tell me and YouTube you want to see more of this content. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next upload. I will see you soon.